Gadget UK here again. Um, just a quick update on a couple of projects. Uh, had I got the uh, STFM uh, 16 megahertz uh, clock update yesterday, um, the clock speed increase. Um, it doesn't work. I've tried this with both um, 74 LS chips and 74 HC chips, um, and I must have checked the wiring a hundred million times. I need to get my scope out with this. I've, you know, I've got a 16 megahertz crystal. I'm damn sure it's all wired up correctly. Um, it just will not. Um, run at 16 megahertz, it runs at 8, so as you switch it to 8, switch it to 16, you get a white screen. Typically you get that when the CPU's sort of locked up, won't initialise or whatever, due to the clock speed being too high. So in the meantime, um, I got on with, uh, or completed uh, a couple of monsters in my Mega Drive. As you can see there, I've got a couple of switches, uh, one for PAL uh, NTSC, or 5060Hz I should say, and the other switches for the uh, overclock, and you can see the little crystal there, just PVC tape holding that uh, 10 meg crystal so I can overclock it. Um, the final thing I'm just doing now is, as you can see here, just adding a 3.5mm audio. Uh, unfortunately, the position I played, I decided to mount this, there's not enough clearance, you know, because of the thickness of the case there. Um, I can't get that up far enough out the edge there to be able to put the, um, the nut on. So I think what I'm going to do is just move those, bend those wires around the sides of that post there and put some hot glue under it and sort of around it just to hold it in place. Um, and all I've done is routed the audio there directly to um, the back of the, uh, the headphone jack. So in theory, I've kind of got a line out which is controllable with the, you know, the volume on the front of the thing. Um, there are a few ways of doing this. The other thing I thought about doing, and I checked the pin out on the um, the D-type uh, put, put. You know, it's not a D-type, it's a U-type, isn't it? It's an eight pin uh, that comes out the back there. One of the pins is plus five. What you could do is you could take the board out cut the track that takes the 5 volt to that particular pin, I think it's pin 8 uh, off the top of my head, um, and then you could route the, uh, in a similar way I've done this, you could route the audio either th from where it is here at the headphone jack which goes through an op amp presumably, or you could actually find the pin ins, the pin input, two input left right audio pins into the um, that op amp chip and feed those, so if you don't, it depends whether you want the volume slider or not, and that initial preamp output. Um, if you want like a proper line out, you probably need to take the output straight from that chip, maybe with a couple of resistors. Um, feed it into the uh, pin, one of them into pin 8, so the left channel. Cut the pin to the right, the, the normal mono audio channel on there, and feed the right pin into that. And then of course modify your cable that comes with it, you know, the, the pins on the scar, instead of feeding the plus 5 volt as it is on most of those adapters to um, I think it goes to the switching, 12 volt switching, which effectively all that does is on a SCART is when you plug your TV in, switch your Xbox, your, your console on, it's, um, you know, as soon as you get a voltage on that 12 volt switching line, it usually switches the channel automatically for you. So you could, um, you know, sort of um, live without that really and, and hijack that 5 volt line um, the, the, where the, you know, the voltage would normally go across that line and uh, send. Uh, I'm just looking at all these caps here, it looks a bit bent. You can see it there. Snagged. I'm gonna have to move that. That's, <laughs> that's not right. That shouldn't be there. Um, anyway, uh, sorry, sidetracking myself there. Yeah, so you could run the audio, let's you know, like say, right channel perhaps through the normal mono pinout, left channel through the plus volt five pinout, and then adjust your scar socket side um, to deal with that. But I've decided that that was a bit messy because whilst it would have worked, um, and it means no other cables or anything. If I ever need a new cable, or you know, uh, I sell this on, someone's going to get screwed trying to understand what the hell's going on with it um, and in fact connecting one of the audio channels straight out the preamp into the um, uh, plus 12 watt switching line on the TV got no idea what effect that would have if someone plugged the wrong cable in so I've just decided like I say just to stick this through enough uh, my audio. I, I might be able to get some better clearance there I think if I scrape some of the case away that might just pop through enough to, me to stick a nut on so I'll have a go at that in a minute but um, yeah so the final thing with this is just for me to do a quick mod to the SCAR cable to, you know, instead of having the mono audio going to, I think it's the right channel or something on there, um, just to move that um, to, um, I'm going to stick a 3.5mm audio uh, lead with a little, just a tiny little bit of wire coming out of the SCAR cable, so the idea, not really the SCAR cable, the um, DIN, so the idea being you just you know, you plug the DIN and there'll be another cable and I'll just plug that into there and then everything just goes straight through the SCAR. Right, you can see uh, I've got that plugged in the back of there now. Uh, I've used a white wire for the moment, I haven't got anything black, but I'll change that. Uh, I think I might actually need to turn the volume up. There you go, so you can see. 
the slider now is working with that. There we go, that's stereo. Let's turn it up a bit. That sounds much better. Now in order to get the normal version, you've got to go into here. There's mode original. Yeah, that's definitely stereo. Let's try something else. This, I can clearly tell when this is in stereo. Usually. Yeah, because you get that from the left hand channel. So I try to do this one hand once. That sounds so much better, it's unbelievable. Well, thanks for watching. Um, see you soon.